Yo, what's going on guys and welcome back to Design Royale, the hottest design show on YouTube and that's, that's facts. Basically, we end up taking eight different designers that go head to head with the same exact brief. After the first round, there's only four people. After the second round, there's two people and then those two people go head to head for a nice dope 1v1. It's gonna be great, it's gonna be dope. And uh, today we have logo design episode number two. Starting off with our first contestant, Enzo, who's apparently been practicing in perfection since 2003. Then we have Michael, who's a freelance social media and brand designer. Debonair, who's a freelance designer working with VBI. Axel, who is a graphic designer with a love for branding and typography. Hendrik, who is a graphic designer for Team Liquid. Then we have a returning fan favorite, Homescope, who is a graphic design content creator with over 150K on TikTok. Nick Creates, who is a branding and social media designer. And then last up, we have Mike Goldfield, who is a self-proclaimed shape peddler. And with that comes the brief that these guys are going to be working with, and that's known as a brand known as Physique. Now, Physique is an up-and-coming gym inspired by Greek history and aesthetics. Our mission is to create a brand directed towards bodybuilders and gym rats. We are looking for a logo mark or type to use for our new brand identity and provided keywords to help with your direction. Herculean, legendary, and respected. These guys have one hour to design and 15 minutes to mock up, so let's see what these guys create. All right, guys, are you ready? Yes, yeah. sir. Three, two, one, design. So the idea I'm going for is a fist clenching a dumbbell. I'm going to go with like a helmet design integrated into like a P logo. It's always important to create a mood board for your designs. So we got Herculean, legendary, and respected. Big inspo right there. Huge. I'm kind of kind of nervous, not going to lie. Bro, I came prepared for this one. <laughs> Full of inspiration. George, can you believe we got all sabotages, dude? We're back. Yo, uh, it's for, gonna yeah. be a fun episode. First, we're back. This group is fantastic. The vibes are right, but they also chose sabotage, which is kind of crazy. We have no input in this entire thing for the first round. Uh, that's that's gonna be kind of scary. I'm thinking about like this this weird just like floral shape, but I don't really know how the physique would work into this. So I want to include like a warrior feet. I'd love to include weights on both sides. Since it's a gym, I think it will be better to have a word mark. Let's look through this book. I dislike this. I dislike this. It's not my self branding. I will start with kind of a Greek looking P with uh, some serif. I'll try the kind of Herculean style with the wreath that goes above here. Kind of looks like the, uh, the Pokemon fighting symbol. That's the kind of idea we're going for. I kind of want to make this look like a, uh, a stack of weights on like a barbell with like the P. Looks like a nipple. It looks like a nipple. Is that demonetizable? I'm sorry, Sesso. My only concern would be we make it too wide. That's the first, <laughs> that's the first draft. That's actually pretty cool. Wait, make it look like a bicep flexing. Okay, okay, I, I think I got it. I think I got it. Maybe only this, this hand. What I want to do that I think will make this look really solid, make it feel like it's like a podium. So we got the podium, we got the P, but then also this almost looks like a water bottle. The keywords Herculean, we can do kind of like a Zeus Hercules type deal. Have a bolt. It will help with the colors as well. Oh, I got a, I got a sabotage. Homescope is looking to sabotage Enzo. Oh, he gonna be so stressed out. <laughs> Oh, this! Oh no, this is this is where it starts. This is asking to sabotage Homescope. Oh, let's go. Yep, immediate payback. I mean, it's not from Enzo. It's from this. Four minutes to think and reflect. I wasted thirty minutes on basically nothing. What the? F <laughs> How am I supposed to do this? So, fifteen minutes roughly just went by, and these guys are all looking pretty good. It's a very dynamic pose. It screams athleticism without necessarily saying, brr, I want to I wanna lift a weight. I'm going to create a lightning bolt for Zeus going through a P. That's going to be my idea. Why is this so much more stressful than I would ever think that it is? Holy hell. If there is one man I know that is inspired by the gym, Greek history and culture. Ha! And what does he have on the uh, blackout merch? Look at that pattern. We're going to try that out, baby. We have these two assets. I think we can really work with that. I'm going to actually throw together a kind of like a font. I want to be quite bold. That's the thing. This is going to be hell to vector this. I don't know why I'm struggling so much about this. My brain is not processing this. Holy shit. Enzo unfortunately didn't see the first sabotage, but now he's getting sabotaged twice in the same time. So, oof. Now you can't design for eight minutes. Bro, I got s you, bro. It's all love, Enzo. It's part of the game. We had to. What if we made him peas? Ooh. Wait, I'm so gassed over this, man. Wait, this is such a good idea. This is painful. I'm gonna sabotage Homescope. This bro deserves it. Someone sabotaged me again? Oh my God. I'm very sad. I'm very upset. You wanna sabotage me, huh? And guess what? 
you're getting unfollowed on Twitter. Now we're back on that grind. Presentation. No, we need to do colors, bro. What am I on? Oh my god, I'm an idiot. Uh, I, don't, I don't know. I, I don't like it, not gonna lie. I don't like it. Half the time is gone. These guys have 30 minutes left. All right, so here we go. Does this work? The orange, I'm not sure about. I think it's too orange. Okay, this. I'm gonna keep with this one. I'm finalizing this one. If I don't come up with anything else, then this is gonna be the thing that I stick with, cause I'm low key running out of ideas. Ah, oh, my illustrator is freezing. No. Oh, dude. Oh, wait. I should probably save this. <laughs> dude, I don't even have any fonts downloaded on this computer. Where's my uh, hard drive? And I genuinely don't know what's in here. Like, I this is from so long ago, 2019. Oh my god, dude. This is just a waste of time. Apparently, Nick's like power went out in his office dude why am i laughing it's not funny uh oof why is my photoshop frozen now what the hell is it allowed to like physically take up your keyboard and like slam it into your pc 14 minutes remaining i think this i think the fist isn't square and i've only just realized that's fine that's fine <laughs> don't panic my goal going into this is to go further than i did before that's it i'm currently trying a bunch of stuff to see if I can fix up a logo more. This current branding is this sucks. Come on, fonts. I built a badass computer and my fonts are, it's like, this is worse than downloading a game. Hendrick has to stop designing. We'll only have 10 minutes left to finish. Oh no. With that said though, that means people who did not sabotage kind of wasted a critique they could have had, so. All right, we got sabotaged. <laughs> I, I hate to say I specialize in adjusting fonts like this, but I absolutely love it. Oh, no, that doesn't look good. I lied. I lied. Oh, I'm screwed. I am so screwed. <gasps> oh, my God. Oh, this is sick. Wait, it's like the Olympic torch. I'm in my bag right now. That's not center. What am I doing? I'm actually throwing. I'm confident, dude. I'm confident. Okay, so I have two minutes left and I need to do a ton of stuff. Is it dynamic? Yes. Is it strong? Yes, I think. <laughs> I imagine right now I've probably spelled something wrong. <laughs> I do like the bright green, but I feel like to stick with the brief. I like this color the best, I think. It's not perfect. I know that. Oh, sh fitness. More, there's two M's. That could have been catastrophic, boys. I don't think I've been stressed like this in a long while. Oh, holy shit. That's, that was... <sighs> And with that, time is up. All right, so now you guys will have 15 minutes to mock up. So uh, just, just, just gonna go right into it. Three, two, one, start your mock-ups. I guess the idea now is to find a stock image of a gym. <laughs> this is extremely stressful. Um... Wait, I think I might just found something perfect. This dude looks hard. I, I wanna see how this would look. Ooh, this is looking a little bright. I got my mock-up pretty much ready. This is some, some easy sh Okay. He is massive. What? Is that even possible? Like, my Photoshop just doesn't work. I'm. <laughs> this whole episode is just gonna be me raging. I'm sorry. Let's just see if we can work with showcasing the logo a little bit more. Just like the variations. Now we're gonna do this, the classic. Makes it look like I used rulers technique here, but I didn't at all. No, no, I think it looks good, but the presentation, I'm not sure about this. Uh, so let's hope this looks decent. It looks fing awful. Holy hell. Happy with that. Relax for a minute. Oh my god, I'm gonna delete the whole thing. Dude, this is gonna be so jank. The, it's the time frame, man. That's it, guys. That's what we're gonna go with. This will be all I have. I just choked us. Time's up! God damn it! Time is up! That is it! So, uh, George, can you uh, let them know what they gotta do real quick to uh, complete this whole thing? Elevator pitches, so we just need a little bit more information, some context on your process, decisions, and basically why you think your design works. We'll start with Debonair. Uh, straight off the bat, I knew what I was going to do because one of the key words was Herculean and I really liked that word. So I was kind of like, first idea that came to mind was just like a Zeus, a typical Zeus hand with a with a lightning. And I feel like that just worked. Handcrafted the, the, the font as well, which is pretty nice. Uh, next up is Enzo. For the symbology behind the logo, I went with using the letter P, but also it representing a curled bicep, which obviously connects to it being a gym. Used sharp lines to convey like sharpness and agility. Uh, go for your next. Mine, I, I really took uh, inspiration from the, the Herculean kind of aspect of it. I tried to leverage both kind of like a P logo as well as like a Spartan helmet. It, it goes hand in hand with their ideology of, you know, 
looking good and strength is everything. When you think Hercules, you think kind of Zeus, kind of, you know, lightning bolts strength wise. Awesome. Okay. Hendrik, what about you? I went for kind of the most elegant way I could present something that represents athleticism while keeping a very dynamic pose. Uh, I searched up a lot of Greek mythology reference images and ended up with Hermes, who is a lot of times depicted with kind of this jumping motion combined with this sort of staff that he's holding. I, I went with a slabby font as well as the slab underneath to kind of frame it in a way that tied back to that Greek kind of a little bit more. Sweet, okay. Uh, home scope, you're up next. With mine, I initially wanted to create the P that's right in the middle of this shape that I created uh, before, but the P idea was basically that I wanted it to look like weights stacked on top of each other while also creating a podium when when it flips upside down. It has like a, a water bottle hidden in it as well for like hydration. And then when you flip it a certain way, it also looks like an Olympic torch. The pattern all around is made up by P's, but is also inspired by a uh, Greco pattern. Sweet, okay. Uh, Michael, you're up next. So I was going through a Spartan when I was doing research through like legendary and respected, um, included the weights of a gym, but I feel like I should have done it differently. But mock-ups, I kind of choked on that also. Okay, and then last would be Vist. Okay, so my general idea was kind of similar to Debonair's with the Zeus and the lightning bolts. And I tried to inc incorporate the lightning bolt into the P. I kind of just uh, choked on this whole thing, to be honest. So with that, me and George are going to go ahead and cr just critique and figure out who's going to be moving on. Okay, George, so honestly, these are some pretty like not even pretty good they're really good really thought out ideas like the theories behind some of these are like really dope like let's just like start off really quickly with kind of how hendrick went and tackled his concept hendrix i was a little bit hesitant on with just the logo design but i think seeing it with the mock-ups makes sense and i could definitely see it being like an official logo okay let's look at home scope for a second home scope definitely had probably the most unique idea using the pattern so stepping away from things that you would normally think of like lightning bolts we saw a lot you know we all appreciate those happy little mistakes like a little shout out to bob ross but like you know the olympic torch hydration podium thing brilliant to notice it and talk about it and the fact that it's a p an actual pattern he made the pattern itself brilliant honestly brilliant seeing debonair's process was really really awesome especially in the time given i mean there's so many variations i think he definitely proved that this logo can be used in a lot of different ways in my eyes maybe one of the most refined logos in the entire list so next would be enzo for me and i'm not gonna lie it, it took me a little bit to bite down on this whole like sort of uh bicep thing going on here it's not as clear as i'd want it to be like i i can see that i can understand it in the sense of where you wanted to go but i don't know if it's executed appropriately this looks like a decent direction for a generic gym but i think in the brief we specifically pointed out that we wanted it to be influenced by greek aesthetics so my question yeah. is does this relate enough to the prompt goldfield he has a really really nice logo type and i think the the mark pairs really well as well the mm -hmm. p and the shape of the helmet it's very subtle but i think people would understand it and even if they don't the overall concept is very easy to grasp so i think it works really well now i think this concept here is probably the most sort of like equinoxy sort of like you know that style approach i think this is like a true definition of minimalism for logo design which is possible and it's worked before especially for like Absolutely. a lot of companies the way i see it mocked up currently it could be for like an electrical company it could be for tech mm. a whole bunch of different things had a lot of potential i don't know if the mock-ups really help it in this case so i feel like michael's concept for me actually it was it was really strong at first and i see him kind of building apart with this kind of like helmet slash it still is strong the slits in the dumbbells right these little miniature slits i almost feel as if he kind of you know executed this without the actual use of slits and maybe had spent more time on the fact of making sure they shaped more like dumbbells making sure the helmet kind of fit more into the circle framing and it feels powerful it definitely fits i think the mood that we we're looking for but like you said i don't know if the concept is fully executed on mm -hmm. in the best way so with that debonair hendrick Goldfield and Homescope will be moving on to the second round. We have a really cool brief for you guys. 
All right, guys, so the next brief that they're working with is a brand known as Erased. Now, Erased is a streetwear brand centered around hype and exclusivity. Our brand is to create limited drops with time availability in order to tap into the recent streetwear scarcity. Once a product is sold out, it is Erased with no intention of restocking. We are in need of a logo marker type that aligns with the streetwear and hypebeast community. We want to make sure we lean towards luxury streetwear brands such as Off-White, Supreme, and Vape. They will have 45 minutes to design and 30 minutes to mock up, and let's just see what happens. Let's do it. All right, three, two, one, design. We got to figure this out. So let's figure out the shapes first. Oh, dude, I literally have no idea. The logo itself, I kind of want to be kind of luxurious by adding like an exotic U, the kind of thing that above the E. Don't really have anything in mind. I'm just going to mock up a couple of E concepts. So what I want to do is create this, uh, this kind of style that I've started developing. However, it does take a while to work with this style. A lot of clothing brands nowadays are super minim minimalistic, like something like, like this, that's just kind of getting erased or something. For, for most of this, you can just think about half of the letters that are gone. So this R might need some work. I think I can go into Illustrator already. We quick, we quick, we quick. Now, one thing that we see significantly, especially with this style, is using like a star design. And I do want to kind of emphasize that. So I kind of really want to go for something super, super minimal. I see a lot of um, streetwear, streetwear brands, like box logos. I'm going to mess with the, the endings of these a lot to kind of get them to fit in a way that reads like an E without having all the things visible. So we're going to make this French, dude, erased. It's gonna be a French streetwear brand. Let's see how that goes. I always find this is the most difficult part is finding the text. I have to draw it again. I don't know if I have time to vector it, that's the problem. See, the thing that I wanna do is have almost like a mixture of everything. Curves to straight lines and have this real funky look to it. We can have the E by itself and I'll have a little dot next to it, kind of similar to this down here. Kind of like this. And then I have to get rid of these guys. I don't need these, don't need these. Um, taking out, we're taking way more from the logo than I than I should be. That looks pretty good. It is certainly ambitious to go for something like this. Typically, the, this type of design takes me a long time, but I mean, we're starting to see it really come together. You know, this might be a little skaterish, but on the other hand, it screams that kind of removed from the world tombstone thing. I think once we vector it, we might have something. We might just have something. If we don't, we'll just use that. <laughs> 27 minutes remaining. I'm not too sure why I said 27 minutes and not 25, but just to spice it up a little bit. There's not really rhyme or reason right now to what I'm doing. I'm just trying to create something that kind of works. I'm actually pretty happy with the direction that this is going in. If I flip the E this way, I might be able to really close it out and make the D go in the same direction. I'd love to actually make a pattern. Try and figure out how to do that. This is going to be so jank, man. Should I do that or should I do the A? I should do the A. Let's do the A. I don't know which one I should use, man. Now, I also have to keep in mind that the brief also asked for something that was more of like a uh, off-white and supreme. If we want to bring it back to that style, what we could do, frame it. And all those brands, everything is framed. I don't know how to make this arc without making it arc badly, if that makes any sense at all. I kind of want this to be like the surface of the earth, in a sense. I guess that would just showcase the... <laughs> potential pattern that we can use. The reason I did this E is because it kind of resembles that one, the one that was kind of bitten off. All right, so this could work really well as like a trim pattern. I want to see how else the E could look. It does help with the legibility having it this way. All right, now we need to focus on one thing and one thing only. We need to focus on a mark with just the E. I think this is going to be my design. Uh, I think I could do a lot about like weird extras. I just think that the execution of this could have been a lot better. Like the execution of the design is not great, but I think with the right mock-ups it can Look decent. Okay. Well, well, we'll play around with it. I think having white in here would be pretty clean. There we go. I think that that's that's good enough, guys. What do you think? I wish it was stronger. I think I should have made it bolder. But on the other hand, I think it works for what it is. That should be everything I need. Wow. To get from this to this, we literally came around full circle. All right. Time is up that is it that is done so you know just for the record i want to break your focus too much but now i just want you guys to head right into the mock-ups okay three two one get going <laughs> try and find some mock-ups uh this one's gonna be fun right back in the mock-ups boys now i have a, a badass computer can handle this shit. this logo needs to have like a softer color to it so i'm just gonna mess around with the color a bit so i wanted to kind of add to that natural feel should I try the light blue on it? That might look a little weird. Might work, actually. Wow, would you look at that? I wonder if we can do a tag. Tag here. I have no idea how to warp this stuff. Probably I want a puffer jacket as well. 
a guy in a puffer jacket. 18 minutes remaining. I think the strongest thing these guys can do is make sure that they're selling the culture and they'll be all right. Sweet. This one looks good, boys. This one looks good. I want to give it a, like a chrome effect. I mean, especially with this style. Ready for this? Ready for this? Ready for this? This is going to send it to a whole nother level. That looks pretty sweet. I don't hate this. I think this is a good move. Three minutes remaining. Uh, I think I'll grab. I think I'll go ahead and grab this one. I really do like how minimal this one is. I might be working up until the very last second with this one. I don't think I would. I thought 30 minutes would be enough time, but I think I spent a little bit too much time on the stuff that wasn't necessary. I think we're pretty set. <laughs> It'll do. It'll do. We're done, guys. All right, we're done. Uh, I think I like this integration of the cross. It, it reinforces the strength of it. It was tense, though. I'm clenched. All right, guys. That is it. That is all the time. That's it. That's just all. Oh, okay. That that breath scared. Are you good, bro? I, I'm sorry. Uh, yeah, I, that was loud. My bad. No, I, I just want to make sure you're okay. Uh, I just needed that extra. I don't think I breathed that whole last 30 minutes. So we're back doing elevator pitches. 30 seconds to a minute pitching your idea. We're going to start again with Debonair. Honestly, my idea was I didn't have anything going into this. Um, my main goal for this was to create the icon, a legible word mark, and have some form of pattern very similar to how Off-White do in, in their brand. So that's kind of how I went about this. Gotcha, okay. So Goldfield, you're up next. Imagine you're sitting at like a, a coffee shop or something in France. This skater guy comes by draped in some badass like t-shirt. He's on a skateboard and he's smoking a cigarette. That's what came to my mind when I thought streetwear brand. I created an E that kind of is being erased. I went with kind of a gold, black, and a white theme because uh, when I think streetwear, I think kind of like sunset, big city. That's that's all I have. Uh, Hendrik, you're up next. All right, so I went into this with kind of limited knowledge about what streetwear necessarily meant to people because obviously the limited supply is something that in streetwear is very common. And I think that I came up with a concept that embraces that in a very kind of dark, gloomy, but also a way that the, the industry is actually trending towards which is uh, sustainability the time on the earth is limited for anything uh, everything decays over time and that's kind of what this cross alludes to stylistically it's very minimal uh, it's much more about the materials everything about the product that makes it sustainable super dope okay uh last up would be homescope hey sharks well i hope that you are really into streetwear because going into this right now i want to take a much more futuristic take on it one that is feels like it's like an emerging style but still has a very unique look to it for me me personally, I created this whole customized logo type for it, but I knew immediately going into it that when I created this whole thing that I wanted the E to separate itself and be used as a monogram for it and almost just a scaled logo mark. I would need to create a color palette that kind of matched that same style, the same vibe. So I did that by creating this almost stone nude color palette that I thought would work very well for it. And I think it continues to do that, especially when you see it in the mock-ups, when you see it on the shirts themselves. And then seeing it in this chrome look that I did for the logo type itself and also that E mark just shows how dynamic this logo can be. I, I genuinely think you guys all did a fantastic job even at least illustrating the narrative between what your brand is supposed to be actually you know proposing of course me and George now have to go and critique this um uh, yep yep I'll see you guys soon all right George um this one this one um this one hard yep the designs are basically all in completely different directions so we really need to analyze the brief and figure out like which one is as close as possible to what we had listed out let's start off with breaking down demonar's concept i think to me feels like it leans more towards like a balance between supreme and off-white so like he said he's got the pattern i think the logo mark the word mark and like the alternative logo mark they all work well together as a system and i mm -hmm. think that his design works really well with those photos taking mention to the actually breaking down the idea like the ideology between the logo mark with the fact that you know he has this sort of square you might be like why is a square there well obviously if you put the whole thing there it would then be a full like line that makes the e but it's a race obviously just so you guys know there's a lot of thought still in this as, as, as simplistic as it is like taking a look at hendrix for a second hendrix has more more like fear of god jack cactus jack you know, aesthetic and appeal with this modernized sort of like more modern sweatshirts ideas how you see in his mock-up, kind of putting the whole story behind it with like sustainability, bringing in the word of race into like not a literal standpoint almost, but even you can kind of see it literally, but to a more psychological what happens when you go away kind of thing. He really saved it with the mock-ups. I think the logo mark itself would not have worked, but seeing it with the context and that he had a really killer explanation, 
-hmm. I think it saves it a lot. Take a look at Goldfields. He he kind of had this whole vision. He kind of gave us a whole vision in his head and like illustrated it, I think, fairly well. This kind of like, you know, French culture idea. The logo overall is very simple concept as well. However, illustrated very, very nicely and neatly. And the idea of erase with this sort of like paint kind of splatter kind of really helps tone into the streetwear culture. I think that for the most part it works. I'm slightly leaning towards this logo, maybe looking a, a bit more corporate than what you'd expect from a street brand. But okay. I think that the presentation definitely, like I said, along with all these other designs like the mock-ups help a lot now of course looking now at home's ghost where he kind of has this more he gets like futuristic almost tech wear vibe i can't ignore the fact that this is also incredibly dope there's a universe where i can see this also being shipped out today and like working as well i mean it definitely fits the kind of like y2k like you said mm -hmm. tech wear aesthetic so it definitely targets a specific audience that i think has been proven in streetwear there's a lot of brands out here that like use this style now my question is if we look at the brief and we are kind of considering more along the sides of like this is a luxury brand i don't know if i see mm. luxury following this aesthetic exactly but at least we know that this look and feel exists in street culture even though it's very killer very dope does it hit the brief probably not is it amazing? Absolutely. We're having a fight between, I guess, execution plus also brief heavily. All the logos are great. This is this is where we're at. This is this is this is the struggle that we're in. I think we know what we want to lean toward, and that's probably gonna end up being. That was not fun in in any scenario ever. So I just want you guys to know. I think you guys all genuinely killed it. Kill your narratives. Killed your logos. That's just, that's just plain and simple, but moving on, just jumping straight into it, moving on to the 1v1s crowning themselves, to, well, maybe crowning themselves, Design Real Champion, will end up being... Devonair. Oh. So we felt as if Devonair kind of had this concept where uh, there's, there's a lot more thought that I feel like people may be giving him credit to. We kind of talk about it in the critique. However, the idea of the logo mark, the pattern and the word mark all kind of accentuating this, how do you say, sort of Supreme-esque logo idea, right? Uh, but also making sure that the erased was not this sort of like heavy appeal, but more this subconscious thing that's always there if you guys pay attention to it, which is a very brilliant way to kind of navigate the branding. So Devonar, you're uh, moving on to uh, 1v1 someone here. This is where it gets tough. So initially Sasso huh. and I had basically like a three-way tie between all of you. I mean, Genuinely. I would say there, there are things that we would improve for all of the logos, but there's also, I think, what you guys did that was especially nice to see. I mean, I stressed early on how important mock-ups and context would be for a streetwear brand. But I think that all of these are valid explanations. That ended up leading me to assess the brief that we made. When I looked at the brief and I saw that we were leaning towards luxury streetwear brands, so Off-White, Supreme, Bape, rather than underground or affordable brands. And I think that someone who was the most successful in doing that would be... Goldfield. So the explanation made sense. Like I said, the designs for everything work. You'll be moving forward 1v1 against Debonair to be the champion. So that's what we have. So with that, Goldfield and Devon are we competing against each other. Nice, really cool brief we got set up. Uh, and one of them are gonna be crowned Logo Royale champion. So uh, are you guys ready for that though? I'm more than ready. Not really, but we're gonna we're gonna give it that college try, dude. Nice, two different spectrum ideas of ready, but like I feel like they're, they're, they're gonna be fine. So let's see what's gonna, let's see what happens. For the 1v1 brief, these guys are gonna be working with a brand known as Mind Thief. Mind Thief is a voice and text app that uses artificial intelligence to summarize rambling and lengthy commentary. It is catered to designers, artists, writers, and entrepreneurs that are looking to declutter their thoughts. We are looking for a logo that illustrates the idea of thinking and collaborating. Our keywords are innovative, inspiring, and portraying a sense of helpfulness while at the same time being motivating. Goldfield and Devonair will have one hour to design and 20 minutes to mock up. Basically no time at all, so let's see what happens all right guys so uh this is this is time this is it we have a pretty freaking dope brief so i'm excited what you guys do debonair uh goldfield are you guys ready uh, i am ready but i've lost my pen
Oh, I've got it. Never mind. <laughs> Pause the timer. Okay. Three, two, one. Start designing. So instantly, the word mind, I think of brain. I don't really want to necessarily concentrate on the thief part just yet. Man, this is going to be tough, honestly. What I think I'm going to do is I'm going to do an M and a T integrated in the middle. Gives for collaboration, like merging together. So, George, I think this brief is really strong, in my opinion. Do you lean more into the thief? or the mind part if you were to do this logo or try to find a way to combine both. Which one is like, what's your percentage? My initial impression is finding a logo that showcases the idea of like collaboration. I'm thinking if this was to be like a real app, you'd want it to feel mm -hmm. a little bit friendlier, right? The idea that I've got is having the brain as the main part of the icon, but just to the right of it, almost like this text marker. So it kind of represents that brain is now text. So I'm competing against Debonair. This is going to be super tough because I know he was uh, super excited about this brief and I was lost. So hopefully this gives me some kind of uh, chance here. Find that whatever you've designed, I feel like always been designed before. It's very hard to kind of come up with something that's completely, completely new. But then again, I am just using a brain. This is the basic design. We can mess with it in an illustrator. We don't have that much time. I think one thing that we can do is split the brain, use this to separate it. If we make the left part of the brain organized, Nice. the right part really like scruffy man i wish i had like an ipad or something to draw on but i guess it is what it is <laughs> no, i don't think it's gonna work <laughs> i don't think it's gonna work let's uh let's kind of revert back to what we we originally planned 15 minutes already went by we already kind of have like really cool ideas from both of these guys i have no idea what's gonna happen but time sucks <laughs> i think we're actually on the right path we just have to uh we just have to land really so I'm going to take this. I'm not going to copy it exactly. I'm just going to kind of use it as a reference. And we're going to just add this kind of line kind of containing everything. It could almost be a head. I think this is going pretty well. If I just move these a little bit and just organize them, it's going to look a little bit better. If we get to about 30 to 20 minutes and things aren't looking how we intend, we'll whip up something super quick. I don't know what I want to do here. I think the font is going to be pretty integral. wonder if we can add almost like a speech bubble here. Maybe this, maybe something like that. Kind of do something beneath it. Kind of comes across as like someone's having a chat. All right, so midway check-ins. Let's actually go ahead and like bring in Goldfield and like see where his brain and mindset's at. So we're gonna pause the timer, okay? With the brief, it said like integration, seamless integration. So this is a T with a microphone, clearly integrate your voice. And I'm trying to do kind of like a chat app kind of idea as well. I actually really enjoy the idea of the TM. I actually didn't notice the fact that it is TM for, for Mind Thief. So I can appreciate that immediately with the actual speech bubble and the mic. I think you're in a really good track there. My my comments right now is that it maybe feels a little bit bottom heavy, I think because okay. of the amount of negative space being cut out in like the microphone area. All right, we'll let you get back to it. So let's go ahead and check out what, Debonair, what Debonair's mindset's at. So the idea I've gone with now is kind of representing speech bubbles and I'm kind of double layering these. So the one behind is gonna have like mess in it. So it's kind of like scribbles and stuff. Then the one above is gonna be a clear brain. Okay. I mean, we're gonna let you keep to it. I think you're doing a pretty incredible job. I'm gonna let you go. You got 30 minutes remaining. Good luck, brother. And I'll uh, see you in a bit. That looks a lot better. I'll see a lot better. The recommendations from George there. Oh, immediately, by the way, I see Goldfield's doing what you actually asked for. And it actually feels immediately better. I will communicate that. And I also do love Devonair's idea. I mean, these guys are doing pretty fantastic right now. We're 30 minutes left. These are both very, very surprising, especially because the brief is a little bit unusual, but I think that they're able to take like their own creative spin on it. And I like that their ideas are both completely different. One's kind of including more of like the mic thought of it and more, one's more including the actual brain thought of it. So I can appreciate both concepts. I, I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, Mike's got mics. <laughs> Next, go. <laughs> Don't know what else to do here. I think let's go to Dribble. It's my favorite uh, color stealing website. I'm hoping it comes across like a brain because I feel like it, people might not understand that it's the front version. <laughs> Should we use Comic Sans? I feel, I feel like that might work. <laughs> that might actually work this time. And just like that, five minutes remaining. I like that a lot. I think that looks good. I mean, that's that's really nice. I like this. It's, it's it kind of feels like a nursery. Actually, do you know what? I think even without this thing I think it works this is gonna be interesting if you guys can't tell what i'm doing i'm making little chat bubbles something like this what do you guys think about that i mean this is it guys i think i could just start downloading more mock-ups i'm happy with what i've done i think now focus on the execution of the mock-ups 
think we can do a solid job. And just like that, we are we are done. That's it. Stop designing. Let's do this. All right, guys. So realistically, you guys know what to do now. We're going to go ahead and hop into 20 minutes of mock-ups where you guys get to finish up your designs. No change to the actual logo. And I'm um, just going to let you guys dive right back into it. So I'll see you guys in a second. Three, two, one. Start your mock-ups. With mock-ups, I don't really want to go like too in-depth with like putting it on clothing or anything like that. So I'm going to kind of stick to an app. Dude, I literally have no idea how I'm gonna do this. And I wanna go for nothing technical for the background, but I wanna go for almost like a liquid marble. Dude, I w dude, really? I guess I guess I can't delete the background. I don't know why someone would make a mock-up that you can't delete the background, but that's cool. It's whatever. Four minutes left to mock up, then that's it. Let's do it. Wait, how the hell do you spell speech? It's not EA, is it? <laughs> I did not have to Google that. I think I think I mean there's not much left here that I can do. Honestly, I don't think we need to add much more. I guess the explanation will have to do. I think it looks pretty good for what it is. We're okay with it, guys. I'm happy with it. I'm happy with it. Maybe not so confident, but I'm happy with it. That's it. Time is up. Real quick, what's gonna happen here is I want you guys to give your quick little elevator pitches, starting off with Devin Aaron in a second here, about what your kind of process was, what your execution felt like, and uh, just so the audience can get an idea of what your what the thought process was. So one thing I took from the brief was that it was gonna be an app and it was using artificial intelligence. That was kind of the main idea that I wanted to go behind with this. Ultimately, I kind of went with this very super simple speech bubble with a brain icon in the middle, which kind of, to me, represented speaking clear thoughts with, within my mock-up I've kind of provided an example of how it look as an app like the whole app is super clean kind of decluttering and that was the kind of the vibe I went for for this amazing okay uh mike my thought process was let's create a simple icon kind of like instagram and i thought to myself let's do something that lets people indicate that it's like an app that allows you to speak your mind and maybe open it up for other people like an inspirational podcast kind of thing as well it, it symbolizes unity so t microphone m all coming together in a collaboration having the the mind thief right here that the type with the little chat bubbles kind of indicates as well that you can communicate uh within this app it's 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 kind of like the modern day designer kick i guess yeah that, that pretty much summarizes it amazing i think this is pretty brilliant you guys both did a fantastic job but now it's up for me and george to kind of like uh take this and and critique it and, and uh, you know the, the usual it's gonna be difficult but we'll see you guys in a second all right george so let's go and break this down real quick for ourselves let's start off with goldfield for a second what are you thinking when you look at goldfield's concept i definitely think that he fixed a lot of the balancing issues with the mark mm -hmm. so i think that compared to what we saw for the midway check in it definitely looks like it's been improved yeah. i like that he rounded the corners slightly on the typography i maybe would have stuck with a typeface that emphasized that roundness maybe a little bit more the logo type the logo mark it pairs pretty well together the only thing i would say like I, i'm not too sure of the the sort of like speech bubble eyes in this i get the idea in the concept to it but i feel like it doesn't relate too much when you like look at both these logos like together right separately it makes sense but together i'm a little bit like uh a little confused on that part however i do appreciate the mic i uh i also do kind of see a lot of podcast vibes in here which you kind of like reference i didn't actually see it that way but the actual big microphone it does it feel a little bit too podcast like I'm not too sure. Does it feel like this mind speaking app more than a podcast at that point? Because I don't know. There's something with big mics and, and podcasts. Who knows? Let's say, okay, when you look at Debonair's concept, what are you thinking over there? What I really appreciate about Debonair's is that it's a simple idea, but I think it fits as an app concept very, very well. So it seems mm -hmm. very refined. It looks official in my eyes. I think it hits the brief really, really well. I, I would agree in that sense. I do, I do see it kind of feeling very inspiring. I might be the tech something about this more rounded boldish kind of text kind of feels i don't know it just reminds me of something like i just want to do something i don't know i don't know what if that's like a universal thought um however i do like it i do wish though however he kind of did the the decluttering idea with that actual like you know below the brain because i feel like that would more translate the idea of taking your cluttered decluttered thoughts into like this mind thing but of course that's just like the concept that he didn't end up going with i will agree though and say this is a really dope concept i gotta be the devil's advocate because it doesn't feel too generalized i was thinking Thinking the same thing, I think the fact that it's in a speech bubble is what saves it to me as being like uh -huh. a customized design. But that 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 turns to a question of like, which one do we think actually fits the brief the most? I'd probably have to say. 
right, guys, this was uh, no joke, unfun, and really, really something I, I was not anticipating to be so hard to kind of pick through. You guys both did incredible for the record. Um, I will say an hour's a joke for the record for any like logo designers out there or for any other people who are looking for logos, don't come to these guys saying like, yo, I saw you do that one hour logo. That's not a thing. That is not a thing for anyone in this video. Just so you guys know, I'm gonna reiterate that 40 billion times. And with that, an hour is definitely a challenge. So I think you guys both did incredible. I genuinely mean that. Um, with that though, one of you guys at this very moment in time are gonna be crowned a logo royale champion. So what I will say is the winner for episode two for Design Royale Logo Royale is Debonair. We believe Debonair's concept was really freaking dope and really cool. I've honestly gold feel out. Mike, I'm just gonna call you Mike now. Mike, your concept was also really dope, but I think George has a really good explanation of how we actually end up choosing our winner. Uh, but yo, Debonair, you won, brother. That is, you are our champion for episode two. I'm speechless. Hell yeah, dude, congratulations. <laughs> I'm speechless. I feel like it's been a long time coming. We've obviously postponed this, but you know, it's. It's been fun. It's been really fun. I've loved it. And just for the record, just so you guys know, both these guys will be competing again in the Champions of Champions of Logo Royale. So don't worry. You'll see Goldfield. You'll see uh, Debonair again once, it's, just so you guys know. You'll see both of them once again in like two more episodes of Logo Royale for the record. But real quick, Mike, what are your thoughts? You got you got any thoughts in the sense? Like, what are you feeling right now? I know it's not the, it's it's second place. Not bad. You still beat out seven other people, but what are you thinking? I honestly, I, I, I'm with you on that decision there. I thought kind of the AI aspect that he did like encompassed it perfectly when i once once i saw it i was like dude damn it <laughs> but like I, I i honestly i'm i'm totally comfortable with that decision like uh you know designer recognized designer at this point if i see something that i'm like dude this is badass uh, I'm, I'm totally okay taking an l to something that's you know I, superior in that I don't sense think so. took an, i don't think anyone here took an l for i'm gonna i'm gonna let you i'm gonna retract that one i don't think anyone here took an l uh george you want to kind of like comment on what we kind of th talked about a little bit yeah so the main thing that we always keep in mind is the brief obviously you guys know that but i think when we're looking at debonair's concept the main question we had in mind was is it enough to to compare to like if this was an actual brand Get, obviously given the timeline you don't have as much time to come up with like unique concepts but i think what really sold it for us was the amount of refinement for the general like theme of the design it's almost a testament to the actual skill itself where it feels so refined that you have to like think it really through so it's, it's almost like a, a blessing and a curse and mike we, we loved your concept too we just felt as if you mentioned the word podcast for me and i was like dang I don't know. The word podcast sort of like put me in this. It does feel like a more of a podcasty logo. Not a bad player, not a bad thing. If you want to transition mind thief, like mind thief to be a, a podcast thing. However, that wasn't where the brief lied. And that's kind of how he chose toward uh, the Demoner concept. But again, you guys both did incredible. I just want to reiterate that one more time. And uh, with that, though, guys, if you guys like this episode, please remember to follow Demoner and Mike. And of course, our co host, George Nowak, um, who's always amazing, always credible. But also follow everybody else in the video, too. I don't, I'm not gonna forget about them They're, they also clutch stuff too uh but yeah that is all i got for you guys today so with that with that being said since we hq out i gotta keep smiling stay positive and stay a freaking product guys later much love and don't forget to check out all the other series and episodes we have so many other ones like enjoy it that's all i got peace